Critics of Joseph Smith get all worked up about issues like him using seer stones to translate the Book of Mormon. They think he's part of the occult or satanic or something along those lines. A true prophet of God would not engage in such activities. They define for themselves what a prophet of God would do and if a prophet deviates from it, then he can't be a prophet since he does not follow their made-up standards. These views are nonsense. First, defining some words is important. As we can see, occult and magic mean multiple things. Occult can range from something that is shut off from view or exposure to something beyond comprehension or a secret. Magic can be charms and spells to something that comes from a supernatural source. According to Paul, the things of God can be considered part of the occult. In 1 Corinthians 2:14, Paul says, The natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know, them, because they are spiritually discerned. Compare to the definition of occult and we see that the things of the Spirit of God can be classified as occultic since they are spiritual discerned or shut off from view or exposure. Paul is describing supernatural phenomena, and beyond the realm of the comprehension of the natural man. The following is a list of things in the Bible that an objective observer could classify as magic or occultic in nature. If they were found in Harry Potter or had some association with Joseph Smith, Bible-believing critics would complain or declare it as occultic. Since they occur in the Bible, it is given a pass. These are given in no order of importance. In Genesis 30 37-39, Jacob used some special rods that caused offspring of cattle become speckled and spotted. Aaron turns a rod into a snake in Exodus chapter 7 verses 8-12. Aaron used a rod to turn water into blood in Exodus chapter 7 verse 20. King Hezekiah was healed of a boil by a lump of figs in 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 7. A magical or occultic way to cure leprosy is explained in Leviticus chapter 14 verses 4 to 7. The Urim and Thummim is used to determine the will of God in Numbers chapter 27 verse 21, and 1 Samuel chapter 28 verse 6 and other places in the Old Testament. Urim translated from the Hebrew, Urim, and means. Stones kept in a pouch on the high priest's breastplate, used in determining God's decision in certain questions and issues. Joseph Smith is criticized for using what is called a seer stone in translating the Book of Mormon. We cannot have that. That is worthy of ridicule and mockery. But if stones are used as a medium to determine God's will in the Old Testament then I guess critics will justify it by saying, God works in mysterious ways. Casting lots in Acts chapter 1, verse 26 is another example that could be called magic or of the occult. Lot translated from the Greek kleros and means. An object used in casting or drawing lots, which was either a pebble, or a potsherd, or a bit of wood. The lots of several persons concerned, inscribed with their names, were thrown together into a vase, which was then shaken, and he whose lot fell out first upon the ground was the one chosen. Casting lots is a pagan practice and called sortilege. That being the act or practice of foretelling the future by drawing lots. Sorcery, witchcraft. Finally, People are healed by a handkerchief in Acts chapter 19, verse 12. Other examples exist from the many acts of Jesus to Samson Hare and Daniel interpreting dreams. Why is it that so many things in the Bible get a pass but Joseph Smith, and others do not? What is the difference between magic, the occult, miracles, and acts of God? For the most part, the difference is based on the perspective of the individual looking at it. I believe that God can use any object, method, or means to accomplish an objective he wants done. None of us are wise enough to counsel God in what methods he should use and not use. There are plenty of Latter-day Saint scriptures that speak negatively about sorcery, witchcraft, and related stuff as you can see here in this list. One can find parallels in what God does and what say witchcraft, 
does but this is to be expected. Satan counterfeits acts that God performs. At the very least, is it too much to ask for Bible-believing critics of Joseph Smith to be consistent? View Joseph Smith actions the same as if Moses or any other prophet in the Bible if they had done the exact same thing. Thank you for your time.